How you feeling, mama? You sleepy? Perfect. <laughs> Give thanks to God no matter what. This is the way God wants us who belong to Christ Jesus to live. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is Cartier's one year puppy update. You guys haven't seen her since she was a baby, like a baby baby, cause she's still a baby. She is a year and two months old now. I just flew back into town today and picked her up from boarding, which is why she's slumped like this. She's been playing and running around all day. So it's definitely the perfect time to shoot this video so she's not like hyperactive. Hopefully she can wake up before it's over so y'all can see her in action. But yeah, I'ma just let her sleep. By the way, if this is your first time meeting us, hi, I'm Sophia or Sophiology, and this is Cartier, or Cardi for short. People are like, why would you name a dog that? Why not? I mean, me and my boyfriend were watching TV and there was a character named Cartier and I just thought that was a cute name for a girl and so did he, so we named her Cartier. So Cardi is a full bred Yorkshire Terrier or a teacup Yorkie. I got her from very experienced breeders on fancypups.com. I left their link down below in the description box, so if you're in Texas and you want a Yorkie, then you know where to find them. Now I'm not trying to be biased, but Cartier is the cutest Yorkie puppy I have ever, ever seen. I haven't seen yours, okay? But she is so, so, so cute. So how much do Yorkies cost? It varies, but they can get very expensive. I personally got her for $3,500. I've spent a thousand plus on her stuff, like her bed, maintenance, crate, food bowls, all her necessities. I've definitely spent over a thousand at the vet. I can't even sum up how much I've spent in total, but to estimate, I would say I've spent $6,000 total on this dog in the last year. So if you're getting a Yorkie, just know they're expensive. So for food, she enjoys and loves Royal Canine. Just recently, like earlier this week, I switched her to science diet Yorkie food. She didn't get bored of Royal Canine, but I wanted to try a different food because I'm trying to make her chubby. She weighs four pounds, which is completely normal for her size, but I just want her to be a little chubbier, so I'm just trying out different options. Out of all the treats I've given her, Smart Bones, the chicken wrapped ones, she will disappear and tear those up. You will never see her again if you give her a smart bone. <laughs> she also loves milk bones. I make sure to monitor her though when she eats it or just hold it in my hand and like let her chew on it because by herself, she'll try to gulp it whole and that's just not safe. All the treats that I've bought for her and that she loves, I'll leave them linked down below in the description box. But those are definitely her top three. If you plan on getting a Yorkie, try those treats, especially the smart bone chicken wrapped. You will thank me later. As far as grooming though and grooming supplies, if you have a Yorkie and you groom them yourself, I applaud you. I gave up in the first month. I tried individual groomers in Houston and I didn't really like them and my friend suggested me to a PetSmart and usually I wouldn't go for PetSmart but there's a really good groomer there who is so caring towards her, does a great job on her haircuts and Cartier comes back happy so I can't ask for more. But her shampoo and other care I've left linked down below as well if you want to check it out. What has changed since my last update? Firstly, it's been cool to see her go from like a baby baby to developing into her own little like doggy person. She's so inquisitive, she's loyal, and she's literally so nice to everyone. Even dogs who don't like other dogs get along with her. I guess she's just good vibes. But another thing that has changed obviously is her fur. She's like white silver, blue, and tan. She's no longer black and tan. When you get a Yorkie puppy, 95% of the time, they're gonna change color and lose the black and grow out this gray or brown, whatever color they end up being. A year in now, she no longer gets car sick, which is good, and she loves going outside, which she did not like before. And it's been a while since she's ripped up a pee pee pad. Um, she used to rip them up so much needs to drive me nuts, but she no longer rips them. She literally just stopped on her own, so we praise God. Since the last update, what is the same? When I first got her, she was very vocal and she still is. I still have sleepless nights sometimes when I decide to leave her about. She's only quiet when I put her in the crate to go to sleep, so that's just what we've been doing. I really tried to housebreak her, but Cartier needs supervision all the time. You can't tell now because she's sleeping with this one. This girl right here is a very funny character. Most people couldn't tell because it was just a video, but some people could tell that she was very hyper and she still is very, very hyper. 
She loves doing bad things. She knows what to do and what not to do. She's very intelligent, but she just likes doing mischievous things. She likes being mischievous. She thinks it's funny. Ugh, I wish she was awake so you guys could see her, but she'll wake up soon, I can tell. Oh, your teeth are so cute. <laughs> She's so clever, but she uses it for stubborn reasons. So before I get into the nitty gritty, every dog is different. I'm just sharing what I picked up from her and what you could experience with your Yorkie. So which one do you want first, the pros or the cons? <sighs> Let's do the good news first, cause I wanna be realistic about things. Yorkies, they love being in your arms. They love cuddling. They actually hug and press their weight against your head and your body. They're very, very affectionate and very, very clingy. Now, as far as clingy, some people like it, some people don't, so that's really up to you, which is why I made it a pro. And a very good thing is they're very small, so they don't eat a lot of food, meaning you don't have to spend as much on food as you would a big dog or a dog with a huge appetite. They also learn commands pretty fast and they communicate and seem like humans, but I think that's most dogs. First con that comes to my head is hair maintenance. Yorkies have hair, they don't have fur, and it grows fast. It can get matted. I get her groomed like by clockwork, but if you're not paying attention, their hair can become a lot. And if you're not trying to pay for grooming like every week, every two weeks, depending on how you like to style them, then you do not want this dog. They don't shed but the upkeep of their hair is high maintenance. Second con is earlier I said they're very vocal. This girl can shout and whine. Mm-hmm, she can shout and whine. At first, I didn't mind it, but now I'm like, <sighs> but oh my gosh, maybe it's because she's a girl dog, I don't know, but Yorkies can whine. Sometimes I'm like, bruh, please, Cardi, I beg you. I take God beg you, be quiet. If you want a quiet dog who's just chill, don't get a Yorkie. They will whine and bark majority of the day. Just for anything, even when they're happy, they just whine. <laughs> I feel like the biggest con I'm experiencing is that they're very hyper and easily distracted. This makes it very difficult to potty train them because even when they understand what they should be doing, they're distracted and don't do it and they have accidents very often. And of course, by personality, they're stubborn, but by them being so hyper and easily distracted, they come off more stubborn because they're not paying attention. So it takes them a lot to like listen, focus, and obey. And finally, they're very clingy. I know this is a pro for some people, but it can also be a con. I work from home. When I'm not home, she's quiet. But when I come home, Ooh God forbid I have to work because she will definitely bother me. I, even if I put her away, she would just whine and scream. Very, very determined and stubborn. Yorkies are high maintenance when it comes to attention. They need it from you. If you're looking for a dog that's independent, does their own thing, Yorkies are not for you. Remember in the first video how I made a whole schedule and a plan? This one came with her own schedule and plan. Ah, she taught me a lesson. Sorry, 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 sorry. But yeah, uh, I have not opened that schedule since I got her. <laughs> that schedule is a dream long gone. But things are pretty simple. She wakes up before me. She wakes me up. I feed her. We have to go on a walk. It's very mandatory if I plan on being productive in the morning now, cause then she'll just go crazy. So I take her on a walk to get rid of some energy. She never naps cause she's always worried about what I'm doing. And then she eats again and we go to sleep. But when I travel or maybe she's just super, super high energy and I don't have, you know, the ability to take her for walks, I drop her off at boarding because then she plays all day and then she comes home like this. She still uses puppy pads to potty, um, a potty schedule, water and feeding schedule, training. Nothing has worked for potty training so far. If you have any tips, leave them down below. But guys, if you're watching this, I don't want to fool you. Potty training is a myth when it comes to Yorkies. So I'm constantly picking up after her. If I'm not fast enough, and I mean fast enough, she does not mind stepping in it, sitting in her mess. So wipes are often used, baths are often taken. I know she's very much still a puppy. Everything is still trial and error for now. When I've asked people for advice, I've been told the same thing. It takes Yorkies a couple to a bunch of years to mature, especially when they're hyper like Cartier. But through this experience, I've learned that you can tell who your puppy will be 
when they grow up even at that stage. When I brought Cardi home at seven to eight weeks, she was already much more speedy, vocal, hyper and playful more than her brothers and sisters. Of course at the time I figured, oh, she's a puppy, all puppies are the same. But no, even her vet, her boarders, her friends, they can all see she's still the same way that she was when she was born. She hasn't changed much at all. Personally, I definitely wanted a more calm, um, and chill dog. I got her for emotional support. I was very ready for the responsibility and financially I could care for her. Since I work from home, I would always be with her. So I was in a great position to raise a puppy, but one thing I wasn't expecting was the hyper behavior. It can get overwhelming at times. Cartier doesn't get the zoomies. She is the zoomie, okay? When she gets excited, she bites and becomes destructive. I put her away so she knows that that behavior is not encouraged, but it's like a daily, routine of time out <laughs> and it doesn't seem to help. What worked before was exhausting her energy. I would start off by taking her on a walk and she would get tired, but over time her stamina just continued to increase and the more I exhausted her, the more stronger and more energetic she became. In the beginning I know everybody says, oh, a puppy is a lot, you just gotta get through it, but no, promise you she was a lot. And I refused to give up on her. I became a super mom. I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. It got to a point to where from the time I wake up to when I go to sleep, my whole day was just unintentionally used up on her. Correcting her, changing her pads, making sure she's clean, making sure she's good, trying to keep her calm, exhausting her energy was exhausting my energy. And I'm just like, dang. And so many people literally told me, Sophia, calm down, she's a dog. You don't have to do all of that. But I was so scared I was raising a terrorist. Like, I didn't want her to be a misbehaved dog or even be highly anxious. I just wanted her to be healthy and happy and behaved. Even if she was a lot of trouble in the beginning, I just wanted to know that all my efforts weren't in vain and she would just grow up to be a good dog. And a lot of people are telling me yes she will so fingers crossed where are we now boarding has been a life changer i found a really good daycare that she loves she stays there all day so i can work and be productive and get my life together and she comes back sleepy fed socialized and happy i think she's waking up honestly i want to make one thing clear a dog that is very very hyper high maintenance you know, just a lot to handle. It's not for everyone. And yes, boarding is expensive, but it keeps us both happy and balanced. Everyone keeps saying it'll get better, so we'll just see. It takes a lot for me to be honest about this, and if you can relate to what I'm saying, please comment down below or give me some words of advice that can help. I would really appreciate it. If you plan on getting a Yorkie before you do so, I suggest that you visit and you play with the puppy you know, just to see what their temperament is like. Like I said, you can definitely tell, compare them to the other ones. Just try and gauge if they're a good match for you before you bring them home. My friends and family know she is cray cray. They all say they don't know how I'm doing it. I don't even know how I'm doing it. The good thing is I found a way to delegate and to shift responsibility and it's been working for us. My hope is that as she grows, she does mature. I'm 100% open to getting another dog, but I've definitely learned a lesson from this experience and I want to share that with you before you start your journey or you know get a Yorkie. I'm really grateful that YouTube has a beautiful furry community where we support each other and learn from one another. It's been a big help to me and I'm also glad her YouTube uncles and aunties got to see her today. I know I watched a lot of videos before I got my puppy and I wish I knew a lot more before actually getting her. I do wish that I got to see more videos that were more honest which is why I created this video and if you have a Yorkie please feel free to share your experience down below in the comment section. How old your dog is, what your journey's been like with them, what helped you along the way. I know I'll be reading it. You guys stay blessed and have a beautiful day and we will see you again. You're tired, but they wanna see you. All right guys, let me go take her to bed. <laughs> she hates me, she's like, what, what, what is this you're doing? Girl, I'm trying to get my beauty sleep. Girl, I understand. You gonna let me sleep tonight? Don't be deceived.